Oh boy, what do we got here, man? Brexit! 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 Britain. Britain's on fire. First the yellow vests in France. Now now Britain. Britain's like, okay, they didn't get their, their Brexit deal that they had hoped for. I'm going to tell you all about it. All right, so today was a uh, the Commons and the uh, Theresa May's deal is voted down in historic Commons defeat. I'll tell you what it means and what it doesn't mean. But it makes you want to... When there's change going on all around the globe, it makes you want to reach for your Dylan. <laughs> Come gather round people wherever you roam. Feel free to sing along. Admit that the waters around you have grown. Sure did. Except that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. Oh, the time. Is worth saving. Come on. You better start swimming, cause you're sinking like a stone. Cause the times they are changing. Yeah, man, so. Yeah, man, so shit's going down, man. Shit is going down in the world, man. So what does this mean? So Brexit, huh? I'll give you a give you a brief rundown for, for the American the American version of what Brexit means. So Brexit, Theresa May's deal is voted down in historic Commons defeat. Right? Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal has been rejected by two hundred and thirty votes, the largest defeat for a sitting government in history. Uh, it's pretty big. This is a big deal. So members of parliament voted 432 votes to 202 to reject the deal. All right, the deal. Uh, it's not it's not that which sets out the terms for Britain's exit from the EU on March 29th. It doesn't mean that they're not exiting. It's just that it means that they don't have a trade deal and a deal with the EU for a smooth exit. They're just going to fucking pile out. This is what the people want. So let's see what how the how the country's reacting. Labor's leader Jerry uh, uh, Jeremy Corbyn has now tabled a vote of no confidence in the government. That's big, which could trigger a general election. A vote of no confidence is the equivalent of a uh, an impeachment, but it comes about like the Brits Brits can get it done, right? They already have the votes. Right? Well, they're going to have a vote tomorrow on uh, a vote of no confidence. The confidence vote is expected to be held at uh, 1,900 hours tomorrow. Right? So it's tomorrow. So it's like 6 p.m. our time. The defeat is a hu- 6 p.m. their time. The defeat is a huge blow to for Miss May, who has uh, spent more than two years hammering out the deal with the EU. The plan was aimed at bringing about an orderly departure from the EU on March 29th and setting a 21-month transition period to negotiate a free trade deal. The UK is still on course to leave on March 29th, but the defeat throws the manner of that departure and the time of it into further debate, uh, further doubt. I don't know about that, but I'm reading from BBC, by the way. Who, Who knows more about the Brits than BBC? Members of Parliament who want either a further referendum, a softer version of the Brexit proposed by Miss May, to stop Brexit altogether or to leave without a deal, will ramp up their efforts to get what they want, as a weakened Prime Minister offered to listen to their arguments. Now, again, the people voted on Brexit, so it's it's the, the, the likelihood, I, and I, I'm no expert on British politics, but the likelihood is that the British people's voice of Brexit exiting the EU because it's failing them and it doesn't it's not serving them in whatsoever. It's actually like a like a like a, you know, ball and chain on their uh, on their uh, ankles. Right. So people voted f- to get out. March 29th is the get out date. Now, is it going to be smooth? I don't know. In normal times, such a crushing defeat on a key piece of government legislation would be expected to be followed by a prime ministerial resignation right so in their world if you get blown out like this you resign you leave 
but Miss May signaled for her intention to carry on in a statement immediately following the vote. The House has spoken, and this government will listen. <laughs> See about tomorrow if they're going to listen. Uh, labor, labor, labor leader Jeremy Corbyn tabled a no confidence motion. So the labor, the the minority uh, uh, party, I guess that's what they're called, right? Table, put up the no confidence vote for tomorrow. So, former foreigner, foreign secretary, and leader of Brexiteer Boris Johnson said it was a bigger defeat than people have been expecting, and it meant Miss May's deal was officially dead. <laughs> it was freaking sh- not a shit, not a deal. But he said it gave the prime minister a massive mandate to go back to Brussels. Yeah, not really. So what is a no confidence motion? I'll, I'll just read this and get out of it because it's it's very it's for us it's like you know when like like people watch American football and you know Europeans they watch American football they don't know what the fuck the rules are. It's the same here. We 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 kind of know you know you watch you watch the Brits scream back and forth in prime you know and in, in the uh, members of Parliament scream back and forth and you don't really we don't I don't I, I'll speak for myself I don't most of us don't really know what's going on over there but. Uh, the Brits do. So what is a, uh, a confidence motion? How does it work? Under the fixed terms uh, in the UK, general elections are only supposed to happen every five years. The next one is set for 2022. But a, no, a vote of no confidence lets members of parliament decide on whether they want the government to continue. The, mo- the motion uh, must be worded that this house has no confidence in Her Majesty's government, which... Um, Corbyn stood up and said it. You can watch the video of him saying it. Right? So that's, that's a done deal. If a majority of uh, members of parliament vote for the motion, then it starts a 14-day countdown. If during that time the current government or any other alternative government cannot win a new vote of confidence, then an early general election will be called. Wow. You're out. Uh, we should do that here. Man. Members of call- Parliament are set to debate Labor's no confidence motion for about six hours following Prime Minister's questions at 12 p.m. So it's going to be an all day. They're going to they're going to listen to s- for six hours of nonsense and then uh, bring it to a vote. Miss Corbyn, Mr. Corbyn said it would uh, allow House of Commons to give its verdict on the sheer incompetence of this government. Oh, damn! They're just pissing on it. Uh, in order, in her statement, uh, Miss May said she planned to return to the Commons next Monday with an alternative plan if her if she survives the confidence vote. Right, so this is this is crazy, man. For the people, what does it mean for the British people? It means it means they still get Brexit. It doesn't mean Brexit is off the table. It means that Brexit in the current form is off to, is the deal. How do you get out? Right? How do you get out of? How do you get out? So. So it it'll be interesting to see, you know. France is on fire. France is, uh, they, you know, there's there's uh, talks of a guillotine uh, for for Macron, right? And uh, and now now Brexit deal, nobody could get a deal, right? The the EU is the, is the globalist, right? They they can't get a deal that everybody agrees with. Labor, you know, and that's that's that was expected, right? You thought they were going to get a sweet a sweetheart deal. This is how you're going to get out, and no, they they're making them miserable. They're making it. Uh, uh, the globalists are in charge of the EU. People, they got to dissolve that shit, man. Get rid of that. That, the UN, fucking get rid of all of it. Marcus Conti reporting.